Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Desiree and on my channel you will find a lot of grocery hauls, coupon deals, and mom life stuff. I don't like to show myself when I um, do these grocery hauls because I look like a hot mess after picking up groceries, quite honestly. I spent just over $90 today at Aldi and Kroger combined. So um, yeah, before we get started, make sure you upload those receipts to Receipt Hog, Receipt Pal, and Fetch Rewards. I'm going to try to tell you the price of every item. Um, sometimes I forget and leave a price out or leave a product out, and please let me know below. Um, but yeah, let's just get started. So the cereal at Aldi, I do like most of their cereals. I've tried a couple that I didn't like, but I do like the fruit rounds and I haven't tried the marshmallows and stars. These are $1.29 each. I try to stick under $1.50 each for cereal. I tend to try to coupon it, but my coupon cereal stockpile is gone down. Um, and I usually buy my son like Rice Krispie treats, not Rice Krispie treats, Rice Krispies and Kicks and Cheerios, like the not so sugary stuff. So I got him a couple sweet ones. He wanted like the name brand Lucky Charms because he saw it in an ad and I couldn't bring myself to do it. It was like $3.79 for a family size of Lucky Charms. I couldn't do it. So $1.29, he'll be happy and I'm happy. <laughs> Next thing is my bread. Can you tell I like carbs? So first thing is the split top wheat bread. This was 69 cents. I like to do grilled cheese and peanut butter just on the cheap bread. Um, these two are more for my husband's um, sandwiches for work because he takes a sandwich every day to work. Or my son and I also eat these too as toast and stuff. I got the oat bran bread and this was, I believe, $1.15. And this was $1.99. Um, we're in Kentucky, by the way, so I know the prices vary depending where you are. Next thing, which is something they're almost always out of stock on at my store, so I'm happy I finally got some. This was $1.15 because I want to make homemade like egg McMuffins, although I forgot to look for the Canadian bacon, but I'm pretty sure Costco sells it, so maybe I'll get it there. So yeah, $1.15. I wanted to get their croissant buns, but they were out. I mean, it's one of those limited time things, and that's... A big problem I had today. I had a lot more things I wanted to get from Aldi and they were out. I was just too late for the party, I guess, to the party, I guess. <laughs> Next thing is green grapes. I didn't record that haul. It was from Meyer a couple weeks ago. I got some really good green grapes and they were cheap too. So these were $1.59 a pound. This is just about two pounds of grapes. But yeah, they were really good at Aldi. So hopefully that just means the green grapes are good right now. So I got some more. And yeah, so green grapes. Oops, dropping my receipts. Next thing was this coleslaw mix was $1.39. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to make egg roll in a bowl because I do have a um, one more roll of breakfast sausage from Aldi. I'll mix that with this, um, like saute it with a bunch of herbs and um, what's it called? Asian five spice and all kinds of stuff. Um, liquid aminos, a little bit of soy sauce. Really, really yummy. You can definitely look up a, um, a re recipe on Pinterest. That's where I find all my recipes, honestly. And I will be filming. <laughs> I will be filming recipes. Don't worry. I, it's coming. It's coming. <laughs> Next thing, it was a dollar nine, not a dollar ninety nine. Ooh, can I talk of this spring mix? I do like buying the bagged lettuce and salads and stuff because it makes me use it quicker. And yeah, you got to do what you got to do, right? Um, we'll move back up here. The only non-food products I bought from Aldi was this 17 bags, the storage gallon bags with the slider. I do like these. I only go through one of these a month, but I do want to buy like a bigger box. Maybe I'll find it at, um, Big Lots or something. But $1.59 today, um, er well, that, this is a, this is a drink, right? <laughs> I said non-food, but I was looking at the plates. Three. 78 for 12 pack of the cans of Arizona. These are just like the 12 ounce cans or whatever. They're 11.5 ounce cans, so 3.78 for that. Um, the paper plates were $1.79. This is 45 heavy duty um, boulder plates. It's um, comparable to Dixie, and those are comparable to Hefty. Like I don't mess around when it comes to like garbage bags and stuff, but I have to say I do like these two Aldi things, like they, they hold up. And even like if you gotta microwave something real quick, this is fine. Sorry, I'm kinda shaky for some reason. 
Um, mustard was 55 cents. I do, I go through mustard faster than ketchup. Is that weird? Um, real mayonnaise, again, I'm not really picky when it comes to name brands, obviously, because I love shopping at Aldi. There's been very few things that I don't like, like a store brand. But um, this was the $1.75, and I like it. Berman's Real Mayonnaise. Um, I like to buy mayo if it's under $2. Next thing, ghee. Ghee's a really good deal at Aldi. It's gone up in price a little over the past year or so, but that's okay. This was $6 and change for um, 13 ounces of ghee. And I like to have this on the... Um, for me to cook in and it's it's clarified butter if you didn't know what ghee was um next thing are these pinto beans which my store has been out of since for like a year i keep going back and looking for it and i buy other beans and stuff there too so it's not that big of a deal but these are one dollar and nine cents each and i got two of these traditional refried beans which were 79 cents each next thing this whipped cream cheese I love having whipped cream cheese and even if I cook with it, like I did stuffed mushrooms a couple weeks ago, um, I just find that it's easier to like mix things with. So, and it costs a little more than a block, but $1.49, I'm okay with that. And I also have some bagels in the freezer that I can use with that. This was $1.55 for the original, basically, store brand Oreos, the Benton's chocolate sandwich cookies. I'm, I have a couple recipes I might use this for or we might just eat it you never know might make milkshakes who knows we'll see um is that all everything down here yeah um i got six dozen eggs at this location the eggs are 53 cents let me know what your price per dozen like conventional eggs are at your store i'm curious next thing is what i always buy at aldi this is snuck up in price a little bit too but this was 809 for oh that's the plastic for five gyros, I have to say it's still a good price even though they keep creeping the price up on us because I know at, um, what's that store? Gordon's Food Service, it's $10 for basically the same kit, but you only make three sandwiches. And I have to say, when it says five large sandwiches, they're correct. I talk about this in every one of my hauls. That's why I will keep buying it until they don't sell it anymore. It comes with the bread the tzatziki sauce and the meat so I do like lettuce and tomato and onion as well like it shows in the picture this is found in the freezer section by the way if you're looking for that so yeah there's that and oh back here yeah the rest is Kroger so 209 prices crept up a little but that's okay um calcium and vitamin d orange juice very very comparable to the other brand that looks like in this packaging <laughs> So yeah, um, orange juice, two seventy nine each for these lactose free milks. I feel like I'm shaking a lot. Hopefully it's not showing too bad on your end. Um, yeah, two seventy nine for lactose free milk. I was gonna get the DHA, whatever organic milk, but they didn't have any. I had a hard time with the refrigerated section today. Um, but yeah, two seventy nine. These two items I'll probably have to buy more mid month. We'll see. $2.45 for the protein yogurt. This is for my son. He likes these. Um, and what I will do is I'll make like a, basically the Chobani flips. I will put like granola or um, something like that and mix it into the yogurt. And he has a good little treat. The crispy chicken strips, I believe this was $4.99 at my store. I've never tried these. I was looking for the red bag chicken because I loved it. But they were completely out. And like I said, they were out of a lot of frozen stuff today. Like I wanted to get a couple frozen pizzas. And they only had like the plain, like rising crust ones. But yeah, so I got that. And I think that's it from Aldi. And like I said, that was like $64, I think. Okay, I'm just making sure I got everything. Yep. <laughs> Moving on to Kroger. I got the chicken sandwich sauce. Even though I don't have the red bag chicken, I'll find some chicken eventually and I was in the same aisle for a couple other things so I grabbed this it was 2.29 it says no high fructose corn syrup so that's good I hope it's just as good as chick-fil-a sauce or almost as good so yeah Kroger's chicken sauce I know they sell it at Walmart too um, liquid smoke was 1.99 I like to do this when I do a um, pork roast or um, any type of roast honestly I tend to put a little bit of liquid smoke in it and last thing was Worcestershire sauce, which 
I spent 179 and that hurt a little bit <laughs> because I know it's like 95 cents at Aldi, but I completely forgot to put it on my list. And when I go shopping in a store, I do go off of a list and it wasn't on my list, so I didn't buy it. But whatever, I realized I needed it. I won't be back at Aldi for maybe a couple weeks or maybe a month because I tend to only shop at Aldi once a month. But yeah, Worcestershire sauce, uh, much needed when cooking. Um, some of the produce here. This was $3.99, but I had a $0.75 cents off mailed coupon, so there's that. Um, next thing, this was kind of on sale for once. It was $2.79. Normally, it's $2.99. I know, whoop de doo 20 cents. And I had a $0.75 cent off coupon, so just over $2. Bucks. Um, I do buy this every month because um, it lasts really well. Like, that date says the 12th, and today is... What's today? The six. So a week, but really it'll last beyond that. Um, it's washed and cleaned and dried and it just lasts a long time. I like to put these on my sandwiches and stuff. And when I have it ready like this, it makes me actually eat it. So there's that. Other produce item, organic bananas. They were like 65 cents a pound. Um, this was a BOGO, a buy one get one deal. So I got blueberry and banana bread. They both smell really good. So BOGO, $2.99 normally each, so $1.50 each. Uh, cheaper than getting it from Aldi, so that's why I got the Aldi plain ones there, and I got the flavored ones. Um, my son and I both like to have one of these for breakfast sometimes. This is an option. Um, real exciting, my ice cream. But So this wasn't on sale, but I needed it because I've been craving smoothies and milkshakes and stuff. And yeah, it's cheaper than going and buying one. So... $2.79 for the deluxe frozen yogurt. Um, I do like that stuff. We just finished one. It takes us a couple months to finish one, so I'm proud of ourselves for that. Um, something I never buy is treats like this, or rarely buy. I shouldn't, never, I shouldn't say never. If I have a coupon, I get it, and that's why I got it. So I had a 40% cent off, a 40 off coupon off a of Klondike treats coupon, which expires soon. And on Fetch Rewards right now, you can find a basically a free item. So you got back 4,800 something points, making this completely free if you're just using Fetch Rewards or a small money maker if you have that coupon clipped to your Kroger e-coupon thing. So yeah, it's typically $4.99, but it has classic chocolate and nuts for vanilla. They both have, there's chocolate vanilla and then they both have the nuts on it. Yum, not gonna complain about free ice cream. <laughs> Um, down here, this is my husband and my two favorite teas. If you haven't tried this, you got to try it. It smells and tastes exactly as it says. It's Glazed Lemon Loaf by Tazo Tea. There's only 15 bags in here, and then there's 20 in this one. But, but <laughs> they, they go on sale quite often, so it's $2.99 right now. And I had a dollar off one e-coupon, so I got a dollar off. So yeah, this glazed lemon loaf, I'm telling you, if you like lemon teas, it's amazing. And it's got like a hint of vanilla, it smells so good. They should make a candle. Tazo should make a candle that smells like this because I would buy it. The other thing we both like is this passion tea. It's a red tea. This is pretty popular that they sell um, at Starbucks, like cold, and it's really good. Again, $2.99. This one comes with 20 bags, and they're both caffeine-free. So if you like to drink it at night like us, Sargento cheese, I got this for free, but normally it was regular price for $3.79 and it was a mailed coupon, so I got that. Daisy Light Sour Cream, I think this was just a store deal because the, um, the price tag was a little different, like it was printed, I don't know. But this was $2. We like having this sour cream because, um, there, how shall I end? Because it's squeezable and it is quite nice when you're doing like tacos or something, it costs like double of one of these, but it's nice to have. So I bought one of these and one of these. So this was $1.25 and I had a 40 cent off coupon that was mailed to me as well. I used to buy sour cream from Aldi, but I was reading the ingredients and it has carrageenan in it. And this one, where is it? Yeah, this one doesn't. And um, neither does the one at Meyer. So I guess I'm not gonna buy sour cream from Aldi if I can help it. So yeah, I think, I think that was everything. Let me know below if I missed anything. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Hopefully it wasn't too shaky on your end. 
I don't know, I had too much caffeine today or something. <laughs> so yeah, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I'd much appreciate it, especially this small channel um, that I'm trying to grow. And yeah, I hope everyone has a wonderful and blessed day. Bye.